course, it's not just in southwestern Missouri. We're seeing it happen here as well in Colorado. So our nine health expert, Dr. Pa Coley, is back with us to add some more context to our conversation surrounding the variants. So we talk about these new variants, and we used to say this one's from India, this one's from South Africa. The Delta variant is the one that we talk about the most here. Talk about how a new variant emerges. So Tom, a virus, when it's spreading, when it enters a new host, it replicates and makes copies of itself. When it's making copies of itself, it accumulates mutations that change the, the new virus that comes out, and that's how variants are born. So every virus mutates, and this was what happened to the COVID virus. It is like evolution, where the, the ones that survive continue to, to, to grow and, and prosper, whereas the other ones die off. Exactly. So some variants actually end up making the behavior of the virus less favorable to its spread, and those die off because they don't really spread, whereas the ones like the Delta, which make it more transmissible, do become dominant. Are more successful. So the classifications, we're talking about variants of interest, variants of concern, a variant of consequence. These are technical terms, but they're important. They're important, and if you think about it, it's like we first become interested, then we become concerned, then we have high consequence. So that's kind of the order in terms of the severity of the variants. We could become interested if there's something about that variant that makes us think that it might evade our, our antibodies or evade treatments or whatever. We become very concerned when it's, it causes more disease and it's more transmissible. And then high consequence, which we don't yet have one, thankfully, for COVID, is when it, do, it stops working, our vaccines stop working. The Delta is not the only one, but it's one that has changed the way we are, we are trying to attack it, or at least least be aware of it. When does it when does a variant reach that status where we start to concern ourselves to the point where we need to change behavior and treatment? Uh, so that's a great question. And the first thing I want to say is that every variant is not something we need to worry about. It's sort of like if Danielle tells us there's a chance of rain, it doesn't mean we have to cancel our barbecue necessarily unless that rain is coming. So a variant may die out on its own because of some other changes that it accumulates or what have you. So only when it becomes a variant of concern do we really need to start becoming concerned. We've talked about three basic vaccines between Moderna and Pfizer and Johnson and Johnson that are here in the United States. Are all of them at this point considered effective against the Delta variant, which I think we consider our, our arch enemy at this point? That's right. Th th that's the good news. They're all considered effective. But keep in mind, all three vaccines are really make antibodies against the spike protein, and that's the part that's mutating in the Delta variant, in the Alpha variant, and so on and so forth. So hopefully it stops mutating and there we don't have to worry about vaccine efficacy in the future. And being vaccinated will help it as far as finding places to replicate. We would start to be able to put out the fire, if you will. Dr. Paul Coley, thanks as always. Good to see you today.